Amen. We thank God for his goodness and mercy and his faithfulness. Uh, wow. Jehovah God is indeed awesome. Hallelujah. Um, I would want to say some few things as commanded by the Lord concerning um, the church in the nation of Kenya. And um, it is good, I've always said, it is good uh, that uh, we tell each other the truth because uh, many other times we are covering up and uh, we cannot cover up forever. We can't cover up forever. It is good uh, that we know where we are and what the Lord is doing and what the Lord is up to. Now, going back to the history of the church in the nation of Kenya, my dad in the Lord told me of a story of 1972 when T.L. Osborne came to Kenya and, uh, you know, he spoke about Kenya being the springboard of revival. And this prophetic word, uh, some of us who are not born, but we have kept hearing this uh, personally. The Lord spoke to me about the destiny of the nation. And so it is, it is agreeing with um, what has been prophesied and what is written in the word of God concerning the nation Kenya. And I want the nation of Kenya to know that when God has purposed over a nation and when God has an agenda over a people, it does not matter how long it takes does not matter who tries to bring forth their agenda or to do their things. One thing there is, is that what God has purposed concerning Kenya will come to pass. And the good news is that God uh, is a father. He is so patient. You know, God is you know, actually the Bible says he's long suffering, you know, he's long suffering and he has been very patient with us. Um, uh, I'll, I'll read for you some things right now. Uh, the Lord has been so patient with us as a nation because why God has called Kenya my beloved. Hallelujah. And the other thing the Lord has called Kenya, apart from the springboard of revival, we all know it, is that Kenya is a father nation in Africa. Kenya is a father nation in Africa. So um, the eyes of God, particularly because of the end time mission of the continent of Africa in the world, you know, the eyes of God are so much, you know, in the nation of Kenya. And nothing will be studying and nobody will be studying. The counsel of God or the purposes of God for the nation will prevail. Hallelujah. So, um, you know, the other thing that the Lord has spoken concerning Kenya, and many of us have heard this, is that, you know, the nation of Kenya is, you know, it will be or it is a haven of peace. And uh, many nations in these age times will decide to be connected to Kenya. You know, many, many, even great nations of the world will decide to do something with Kenya to be, you know, connected to the nation of Kenya, particularly from October this year, 2023. We are going to see, uh, you know, a turn of event, event economically, you know, for the nation. And, you know, because of what God has intended for the nation and with the nation. And I want each one of us to know as the Lord is accomplishing his missions, you know, God has to clear a way. God has to clear a way for his purposes. And when God is clearing way, one thing we see are casualties, are casualties, are casualties. We are going to have so many casualties in the nation of Kenya. We are going to have casualties in this nation um, because God is clearing way for his purposes in the nation. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm looking uh, at... Uh, you know, the things that are ongoing. And uh, before this, 
uh, God had spoken to us a whole month and he was asking us, us what is the commotion all about and the Lord had spoken to us and told us don't judge things carnally when you read the word of God in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and the book of uh, the word of God in the book of Haggai chapter 2 you will see it is God causing the shake up you know of, of heaven and earth it is him because of his you know intended purpose for this hour and his assignment and mission and vision for this hour touching the nations of the world it's not only in kenya so we are not supposed to be looking at things and judging them carnally we know where we are and we know what the lord is doing and Haggai will tell you it's about the end time glory it's about this latter glory that that is that is supposed and it is going to be greater than the former hallelujah so everything uh, it, it's about the fulfillment of the end time uh, uh, prophetic word that is written in the in the word of God and uh, what the prophets even our in our days are saying um, and I want to make a correction uh, uh, about the prophetic office or about the prophecy uh, not everything that the Lord will reveal to us not everything you know somebody would want to rebuke us that you had no seen things you did not see this let me tell you one time uh, you know Elisha you know uh, causes uh, by the grace of God in his life a Shunammite woman to have a child and the child died remember that boy died the man of God God did not inform the man of God I mean the, God did not let the man of God know you know it, it's not everything it God will always allow us to know uh, particularly what he intends to do you know uh, not very much what is touching you know uh, the destinies of people and all those things God can you know God can can do that if he wishes but if he doesn't like you know if, uh, like you know what has happened in, in the nation of Kenya you know many people uh, died and that they were there you know uh, many of us may not have gotten it that, that does not mean you know demean the prophetic in the nation hallelujah that don't does not demean uh, the prophet in grief we never saw this they never knew this uh, 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 uh. God is a God of order he knows what he's doing and uh, I'm about to say one two three things even concerning the church matters in the nation so let us pray father in the name of Jesus we give you praise this morning. It is uh, at the dawn of the fourth day of May, year 2023. Jehovah God, we thank you because it is a season where God, you are distincting that which is born of you and that which is from a stray woman. My father, that which is a counterfeit, that which is my God, Jehovah Redeemer from the wolves covering up in a sheep clothing. Jehovah Redeemer, the Bible shows us what Jesus said. Let the wheat and the tears grow together. It is him who has the authority, who has the ability to separate the two. And my father, I thank you because the book, the, 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 the word in the book of Malachi chapter 3 and verse 18, we shall then uh, be able to discern my Jehovah what is in righteousness and what is in darkness. Even my father, both them, them that are serving you in righteousness and those who are not. My Jehovah these are the days. This is the time. And I thank you, Father, because in the cause of what is happening, you are busy purging the church because the Bible says that the church is built on the lock and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. My Father, I thank you because nobody can separate the body of Jesus Christ. Nobody can, uh, can mess up with the body. And so, my Father, I decree in the atmosphere of the nation of Kenya, the body of Jesus Jesus Christ is still intact. The church is not affected. The body of Jesus Christ, uh, it is his bride. That, that, that bride is still intact in the name of Jesus. My God, when wolves have done whatever they have done, when my father, the sorcerers and the, the witches covering up in the name of the Lord have done whatever, whatever they have done, my God, you still have a remnant. Romans 11 and verse 5. And Jehovah God, I thank you because it is a midst this commotion. This is what we are seeing every time you wanted to position a people or a person. My Jehovah, there, there, there came forth a commotion. This is what we are seeing in Egypt. The magicians cannot interpret. The, and my father, the dream that you gave Pharaoh this time, they can, they couldn't handle it because it was God's dream. They couldn't handle it. The magicians, the wise men. But God, in the midst of that, my father, you are paving a way 
for the positioning of Joseph Grace. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. In my Jehovah, in Babylon, a commotion came my Jehovah, but in the midst of that, you are positioning a righteous branch in Babylon in the name of Jesus. There was a commotion during the time of Esther and Mordecai. Amid this that, my God, what do we see? There's a positioning of your people in the rod in the name of Jesus. My Father, I thank you. I give you the glory because, my God, amid this to what is going on right now, there is a positioning of the righteous branch in the nation of Kenya. My Jehovah people drive, they drove cars, lived in big houses. Uh, they gathered masses through powers of witchcraft and sorcery. My God, using demonically empowered oils. Uh, my Jehovah selling stuff to your students, praying them even. Uh, my Jehovah with some oils and all those things. Uh, teaching about demons instead of teaching about you. My Jehovah, you have been so patient with us. Uh, my God, when we sacrifice human beings, my Father, on my Jehovah, on, on, on our demonic altars, when we were in church during the day and at night my God we drove to places uh, of my father's secret movement where we have been fathered even to do church projects uh, Jehovah God you have been so patient with us uh, my God when many of us went out of the country my Jehovah to be treated demonically my Jehovah to be empowered demonically my God even going through some demonic rituals then we came back uh, and my God we pretended as if we are so anointed to teach your people and my God because of the demonic creatures we gathered people around us huh? you were so patient with us huh? but because of the assignment of the day for the nation of Kenya my God you cannot be silent anymore that's what your word is about to show us huh? You cannot be silent anymore. And my Father, I thank you because, my God, you are delivering, my God, the remnants of your people who have been, my Father, carpets, my God, who have been messed up, my God, in some of these, uh, my Father, main prisons, oh God, where their destinies were made, my Jehovah, uh, my God, they, they, they became slaves of men. My God, you are delivering your people in the name of Jesus. And my God, we thank you because no stone will be left and turned in the nation of Kenya. This is all about the government because the government cannot control the church. The body of Jesus Christ is under the control and the influence of the Holy Spirit. So no government, no human being is able to control this. And my God, I thank you because by your power and authority, you bring forth a demarcation and a distinction between, between that which is of your kingdom and that which is not everlasting, Father. Lord, from days memory, you have never been defeated by the evil. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Lord, I give you the glory because amidst all this, you have my Jehovah, the spared ones, the 7,000 like the times of Elijah, who have not, my God, gone through demonic creatures, who have not been teaching your children about demons, who have not been, my Jehovah, uh, been rebelling because, my God, they have gotten, uh, my Father, power from other sources. You have men and women who have turned in your presence, my God, day and night. And the Bible says, how far, my God, how much, my God, and quickly, how quickly will you serve justice to these ones, Abba, Father? It is about time in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We worship your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. And my Father, this particular morning, the Bible says we are co-workers with you. I give you permission, Lord. Clean up the house of God. Clean up the house. Jesus, you say the zeal of the house of God is consuming you. So when you went to that temple and you found people buying and selling, what you did is to turn allowed, to turn uh, to turn the tables uh, and to throw out my father, the people who are doing businesses in the house of God. And even my father, the Bible says you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. This is the operation that God is going on in the nation of Kenya right now now. My job as judges can be bribed. Magistrate can be bribed because that's what the Bible says in the book of Micah chapter 7. But let me, my father, but I thank you, oh God, because of this one thing, that where we are seated with you in heavenly places, there is no bribery that can come through. There is no, my Jehovah, any lie, any pretense that can stand on the way in the name of Jesus. My God, from this hour, 
Joshua from the fourth day of May 2023. Father, have your way in this nation. Do the massive cleanup that you desire. My Jehovah, do the divine operation that you desire so that my God, your purposes may prevail over the land of Kenya. In the name of Jesus, my God, clean from state house everywhere, every corner. Clean up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise and we worship your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Allow me to uh, to tell you what the Lord has said and what is uh, where we are and uh, you know uh, what the Lord is saying. Allow me to use English. Uh, at times I love using our local language, but because of the so many people who are going to listen to this word, allow me to use English. At least a few of you who are not able to understand, you can inquire what is a woman of God saying in the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Now, on the on, on 29th of, of April, that is last Saturday, um, this, as, a, as we were doing prayers, we, we do prayers for the nation of Kenya is commanded of him one hour every morning as a person who was leading the prayers you know was praying the spirit of god just quickened me and took me away uh, from the prayer meeting and the spirit of god began ministering to me and this is what the spirit of god said on that was on 29th of april 2020 the spirit of god told me i have rescued kenya i have rescued the destiny of kenya Woo! the spirit of god is confirming that in my stomach oh my God, the spirit of God, the spirit of God said, I have rescued Kenya. And uh, the Lord said, uh, the nation of Kenya has been in the custodian of evil midwives. The nation of Kenya has been in the hands, you know, of evil midwives. The spirit of God called them evil midwives. A and we know the purpose or, you know, the, the, the assignment of a midwife. And this is why I I'm asking the people who God is raising now, if God has given you an assignment, it is very vital that you don't just dash for a title so that somebody can bless you or bless what God has called you to do. It's not time to dash for a title, you know, to seek, to seek somebody and before the Lord has ordered your steps. This is not time to seek audience, you know, with, with the titles and names because of the masses they are gathering and because of, of, of how they have been known in the past years. Now, this is time to inquire, you know, from the Lord and to allow the Lord you know the Bible says that the Spirit of God will teach us all things even on who we are supposed to share with. Uh, you see when when, uh, when Mary has an encounter there is there is a kind of a lifestyle that Mary had, uh, Mary of Nazareth you know the, uh, you know this Mary of Nazareth uh, and when she encountered the, the, the you know the, the heaviness of the Spirit of God what do we see? You know God is ordering her steps to Elizabeth, somebody who can preserve, somebody who cannot be jealous, somebody who cannot a, 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 a spiritual midwife who is not written of who Mary has become. Hallelujah. And, and you know, now Mary now was lifted by God in a higher greater level than Elizabeth. Yet Elizabeth was older than her. So this is the kind of us I'm asking because this is where many of us and, and many moves of God, even many of us who are called for our assignment, we went looking for people who fell off long time ago. We went looking for people to bless us and is to come even uh, you know dedicate our our, our ministries and uh, you know pray for us and we shared with them we opened our hearts uh, you know uh, what God has told us to do yet they began in the Lord and they are not in God anymore it is good to be able to test the spirit don't just learn and uh, this is where I'm even warning the people who are running for ordination and for commissioning it has not become in many places they have become commercial you know as long as you can afford one hundred thousand and seventy thousand somebody will come and give you a title and this is why we are seeing the error because when men come and give you their title the title of men their office that the Lord has not called you into the Bible says in the book of Ephesians and he gives some it is Jesus the owner of the church who gives us offices who gives us ministries hallelujah and the gifts of the spirit they are given by the spirit of the truth hallelujah so uh, you, you know you, you have to labor now you know when they, are, they have given you their office because you ask for it, you have to labor humanly to maintain that. But what God has called us to do as a church and in the church is by the grace. Hallelujah. It's by the grace. Hallelujah. So 
I want to confirm this because it is coming from the Lord on 29th of April. I want to repeat that even as I continue. God said, I have rescued Kenya. I have rescued the destiny of Kenya. And the Lord said in the past many days, you know, uh, you know the nation of Kenya, the destiny of Kenya was in the hands of evil midwives. This is, these are the people who, instead of teaching people about Jesus, they will concentrate on teaching you about demons. You know, they'll gather you in in, in uh, they'll gather you hours and hours to teach you about demons how demons work in your body how demons operate in your in, in your marriages how they're operating in your neighborhood then they begin spraying you their oils you know and, and have always said uh, these oils people are spraying on your mouths you people you know even uh, medically doctors should be able to correct this error you know medically you know somebody spraying their oils on your mouth you know inside your mouth and uh, you know somebody you know and I, and I have, you know, let me not let me not go that direction. Even health wise, it is not very good. So, uh, and this is this is, uh, and uh, because uh, the other time I showed you the scriptures, uh, and because people are looking for what they want, you know, and people because of what they have been taught and the kind of foundation some of us, you know, you know, found as church, you know, we we, we keep on looking for what we don't get, and many people have died with so many vacuums, spiritual vacuums in their lives because. Because why all what they knew is not even about Jesus it's about demons you know it's about demons and you know casting out of demons the Bible you know I know has allowed us to go and do that you know go doing that you know go here that's a part of that when Jesus sent the disciples you remember that casting out demons healing the sick hallelujah you know it's a part of that but then I don't see in the ministry of the apostles I don't see the foundation that Jesus read that he gathered people to teach them about demons you know Satan, the, the Bible says the reason why Jesus came is to destroy the works of the devil. So if Jesus finished it all, hallelujah. Now that's why, the, the, I mean, uh, John will tell you that the truth you know, what, what you're supposed to know is Jesus, the truth. Jesus is the truth. And that is where our freedom is. That is where our deliverance is. Hallelujah. When we know the truth, the Bible says uh, that truth will set us free. The Bible says uh, whoever the Son has set free, whoever the Son of God has set free is free in indeed and i want you to mark that word in your bible free indeed hallelujah so the, the main thing of our gathering and uh, this is what we are seeing when uh, when, when uh, jesus has uh, you know sent uh, 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 peter to joppa we, we don't see uh, peter going to narrate to cornelius about demons hallelujah and within very uh, you know mentioning about jesus of nazareth who was crucified and all that you know uh, the spirit of god comes down within all struggle within all so many cadaver and all those gimmicks and all those the spirit of God inhabited, you know, you know, in that fellowship. Hallelujah. With no much struggle, no much labor. Hallelujah. Because why? Jesus is able. Hallelujah. He is a name that has, that is above all other names. By the mention of the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Demons treble. Oh, Rikai Hallelujah. So we must go back to the foundation, you know, of, of the church that Jesus already laid. And you know. He has already done this, and the Bible says he has built the church on the on the rock, and the gates of hell cannot prevail against this church. Hallelujah! So this other foundation we are going for some of these things, even uh, you know some of these ordinations and some of these things, they are not biblical. We have copied that from so many other places which are not founded in the Word of God. Some of these things you people are doing and you, you are tending into, you know, these services of anointing services and miracle services and all those things. Let me tell you, anytime we gather in the in the presence of the Lord, you know, in the in the in the, as a fellowship of brethren, hallelujah, we should expect miracles. The Bible says these signs and wonders or these miracles, depending on the version of your Bible, they will follow us. We are not supposed to be seeking for them, they are supposed to be following all the believers. Hallelujah. The us who believe they're supposed to be following us. So anytime we gather, even as you are walking around, as long as you are a believer, you are a candidate of signs, miracles, and wonders. So we should not be having a special service for something hallelujah we don't see that we don't see that in the ministry of the apostles and the ministry of the of, of jesus we don't see that amen because why when we are living right and when we are walking right 
You know, Psalm 91, hallelujah, dwelling in the shelter of the Most High, you know, Psalm 91, I mean, Psalm chapter 1, hallelujah, you know, when we remain there, John chapter 15, when we abide, hallelujah, then other things will flow. That's why Matthew will tell you, six, you know, seek you first the kingdom of God and its righteousness on all other things, hallelujah. So there is a kingdom, you know, and you know the, what the kingdom of God is all about, hallelujah, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, that is the kingdom of God, amen. And that is it. Other things will be added. Hallelujah. And you see, the Bible says in the book of Psalm that he sent his word and healed all their, all, read the Bible, all their diseases. Hallelujah. So if the, if the word of God, you know, that God has sent through his vessels, has, you know, that word has, uh, you know, has not been able to sort you out. Any other thing that follows after that is human labor, you know, and we are seeing people, people, people just gather to wait for, you know, people don't concentrate on the word. That's why people are so garibo. You know, they are waiting for the activities that will, will come, you know, after the, the word. And what we need to embrace so much is the word because the Bible says everything else will pass away, but the word will remain forever. Hallelujah. So the oils will pass away and those, uh, the, 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 the tiles, the small tiles you are using and some of you even eating the threads from those tiles, you know, some of you sticking some, uh, you know, some stickers on your businesses and what have you that somebody is watching over your businesses. Nobody has any power to watch over your business. No human being has that power. It's only God who has that power. The Bible says he's the one who watches over Israel. He does not sleep or slumber. As servants of God, we sleep like you do. So we, we are not exceptional. We sleep like you do. Hallelujah. So uh, let nobody lie to you that the, the, the waters they have sold you or the oils they have sold you. Now, those, some of these things are demonically empowered uh, and they are, they, are, they are just meant to make you a slave of a, of a man. You know, some of you praying with the beads, some of you praying through Rosary, some of you praying through Mary. By the way, Mary is no longer a virgin. She gave birth to children. She's no longer a virgin and she died. And a dead person cannot pray for the living. So those all, all, all those things are, you know, are idolatry. All those things are idolatry. Hallelujah. So God has, you know, has rescued Kenya from the hands of the evil midwives. And you're going to see the fruits from, from 29th of April. You will see that the fruits of that word. You see the operation of God because now God is at work to clean up the mess in the church of the nation of Kenya. So now God is purging the church himself and uh, he's following up, you know, his whole word, the whole word, what God has said for Kenya and in Kenya to perform it and nothing with his studying and nobody with his studying. Hallelujah. So all of us are in that one basket. When God is purging the church, we are going to see such a clean up from the hands of the Lord and the Lord said, no stone will be left unturned. So we are going to witness a lot of exposures, a lot of casualties, and I've been telling you some names that are going to be mentioned in some places. They are going to be so scary. They are going to be scary. I've been telling you of some of some places of worship covered up in the name of the Lord, but they are fathered by secret movements because some of the of the of the so-called servants of God, they are, they are they are serving God during the day as we see them, but during the night they drive into some quarters of of of, of some secret movements. Others drive, you know, others fly out, you know, where they have covenanted their ministries and their lives, you know, to some secret movements, okay? And that's why I've been telling us, kindly test every spirit. The Bible says, don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Some of us love God so much, but I thank God what is happening in these end times. God is causing people dream and opening their spiritual eyes to know one, two, three things by themselves. Hallelujah. Some of these uh, prayers, altars, you have been going to prayer centers, you know, internationally, even some mountains, they are altars initially those people began in the Lord but because of the status quo and the operation of the kingdom of darkness in these early times you know where you where, where these people go and uh, you know the devil is able to capture them and they introduce them to the to, uh, and they give in and they are introduced to other kingdoms you know some of these prayer centers are not prayer centers for 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 the worship of the true God they are centers that are funded and furnished by some other spirit so you need to be very very careful don't just go anywhere because this person, you know, is uh, some of the TV stations, some of the 
you know, their altars and that the minute uh, their altars of the devil and the minute you, you, you watch them in your house and you, you, are, you are following them, you know, some of these altars are uh, even maintained by human sacrifice. So the minute you, you, you watch them and you listen to some of these people, you know, they manipulate your spirit. And I thank God because God is now speaking to people. Don't watch this. Don't follow this. Don't fast with them as they are fasting. Don't follow their programs anymore. That is how quickening, you know, the Lord is doing to destinies of people in the world right now hallelujah because let me tell you no stone will be left unturned in the name of Jesus. so we are going to see the people who fall up uh fall us up as servants of god and you believe in us and believing in christ then some of the names that are going to be mentioned they are going to to, to to scare you and some of you if you're not very careful you may never stand because why some of these things are going to be so scaring they are going to be so scaring they are, but thank god for some of us we have known all these things before hallelujah so too much of casualties and exposure the Lord is saying no stone will be left unturned. I'm going to be very fast because I need to read for you the scriptures. So those who have used uh, waters, oils, and clothes, and all those things to manipulate God's people, God, it, God is at, uh, God is at it now. You know, uh, God will not allow. You know, God is now. T it, this one, no government can clean up this. No government can clean up this. This is the work of God. It is only God who is able to control the church, and uh, God is at work because He is a jealous God. Has Hallelujah. Those, uh, those, those who have been wolves in, in sheep clothing, you know, among us and the, and the tears, you know, among the wheat, you know, Jesus is saying, you know, it is me who will let the wheat and the tear grow together. So it is time for him to uh, to correct that error by his own grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you remember what Jesus is telling the disciples? I'm sending you a sheep among us. What? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that time is now and the season is nigh. The season is nigh. So those are uh, who are in God's kingdom uh, during the day and during the other times, you know, they, they are funded by secret movement. They are furnished and they furnish those altars. Even with, uh, you know, we have had clips and we have seen these days where somebody was told to sacrifice their wives, their children, and everybody, even some members, and uh, some people brag. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, Mungu, Mungu huona na Mungu ameona. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, uh, you know, there is nowhere to hide anymore. And that's why, uh, you know, and so I'm telling everybody, kindly this time, don't just attend any meeting. Don't just be scattered everywhere. Listen to the reading of the Spirit of God. Now, it doesn't matter how many human sacrifices, because of course, demonic altars will, must be furnished with human sacrifice. It does not matter how many uh, human sacrifices somebody has given. The Lord is clearing up that mess in the church in Kenya, and nobody will, uh, will escape this. Nobody will escape this. Hallelujah. Nobody. I'm telling you, people will begin men mentioning names one after the other. The exposure is going to be so bad. Let me tell you, you are going to begin hearing witches and wizards, you know, locally and internationally, publish some things that are going to be so scary, you know, and somebody will say, I was given this money and this person has refused to do one, two, three things. Because let me tell you, uh, there is no, you know, the Bible says in the book of Matthew, nothing that is done in the secret that will not come to the open. Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. And as the cleanup of the church is taking up, uh, taking a, I mean, a, a, I mean ongoing uh, by God's own grace because of the time in the nation of Kenya. These are the kind of things. Oh, you'll be waking up to a breaking news. You know, I mean to breaking news. You know, breaking news. You read the papers, you see breaking news. So and so breaking news. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I've always said, if you, anytime you see God exposed a servant of God, oh my God, Jehovah God has been patient for years. Hallelujah. So nobody will escape this divine operation. It's not about the powerful lawyers it's not about the powerful magistrates you know go and read for yourself Micah chapter 7 from verse 1 down there even uh, judges you know are receiving bribes you know they can be bribed so that they can pass judgment in favor of one two three things but let me tell you this one now is beyond judges it is beyond magistrates it's beyond a government it is a divine operation of God himself to clean up the mess in the church of the nation of Kenya judgment is beginning from the house of God the Bible 
says in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 24, you can read up to verse 27. You know, when the heart of God has been outstretched, nobody can turn it back. Hallelujah. When God has purpose, nobody can stop it. Nobody can annul it. Hallelujah. That is where we are in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So it is purely God's shake up and uh, it's a commotion that is so divine and it, it, it is going to pave way, you know, for, for the right priesthood, the right fatherhood, the right apostles, you know, the new wine in the nation. Because let me tell you, unless the Lord did this, you know, there are people seated in very high places with a very great following. And let me tell you, they wouldn't have allowed the now move of God to break through. But God had to clear that. God has to do that. God has to deliver many. God has to open the eyes of many by his own divine commotion and divine operation and a divine shakeups. Amen. So that he can pave way for the right priesthood in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. And I want to prepare, uh, you know, uh, to prepare us for, you know, the right prophetic midwife in grace that God has already, <coughs> sorry, has already released in the nation in this hour by his own grace. God has already, you know, released that. Just allow me to sip some little water. <coughs> Thank you. So God has already released that, you know, the midwife in grace, the light uh, prophetic midwife in grace. It's already there because remember, I began by telling you that uh, the nation has been in, uh, God said uh, the nation has been, you know, in the hands of evil midwives. So God has already rescued the nation from there. So that's why you are going to see the exposure. That's why you're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, carpets. You're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, a, a lot of, um, Casualties, even as the Lord is now positioned in the right priesthood in the nation by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. This is what we are seeing in Babylon. There were casualties after God, you know, now positioned Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There were casualties from the other side. That is what you're going to see. So, as the Lord is positioning, you know, uh, you know, remember what is happening in Egypt. There were casualties of the magicians and the wise men. There were casualties, but now God is positioning Joseph. Hallelujah. So, God does not operate in a Vacuums. God will always operate, you know, you know, through a man or a woman. Hallelujah. So God is doing it. God is doing it. So we are going to see uh, the grace of the proper midwifing or the, uh, the prophetic midwifing, the right one, is already released. And uh, it is now time for God. It is now time for, for, the, for the end time move of God in the nation of Kenya by the grace of God. And I want to prepare us that uh, the move of God in the nation will sprout out, will sprout out in, in places like for Mary of Nazareth, in places that, uh, that are not expected and the people that are not expected. Actually, the Spirit of God was telling me in home cells, in home fellowships, hallelujah, places that are not defiled, places that nobody will say that it is about me. Now God has removed this edge time move of, of his from, the, from, from you, human being. We are somebody will brag and say it is because i taught them because i did one two three now home sales home fellowships hallelujah places and people that are least expected that is it hallelujah so it's not about the, whoever is saying revival and moving around the revival uh -uh. it's about the purpose of god in jesus because there are people who have been moving around but they have been trying to arm um, twist and that uh, they are able even to to spot you know, to spot who is rising where, and they are able to gather them and even to set for them. And the minute they lay their hands on you, the minute they pray for you, you can never move. You can, so many moves of God, and as the assignments of some people have been cut off because you know, so, when somebody had so and so is calling you, they land there, and the minute you bow there, and they, you know, you go there with your seed, and they, they pray for you, and they speak to your life. That is it. You can never go, even you can never go where God was taking you. And even uh, you know, the kind of a thing you are trying to build, it can never be built. Why? Because some some of these people are seated in high places and they cut off the moves of God because why they just want them to be to remain relevant. They they cannot usher in. They cannot be and be an Elizabeth to Mary. They cannot. So you need to be very alert. So nobody will take the glory of God. It's about God alone. And uh, I, I, I also want to warn about the foreigners who came to Kenya and they covered up with, uh, you know, with some fathers. They covered up with some names of some fathers in the nation. And the, the fathers of, some of the fathers in the country, they did not know that these people were high princes of darkness, you know, very high, very senior princes of the kingdom of darkness. And they were sent in Kenya to kill fatherhood and to destroy, I mean, to kill generals. To kill the generals and to destroy fatherhood. I'm telling you, and that these people cover up in prayer. 
they cover up in prayer. They are, they are, they are so hidden up. They are so hidden up. But you cannot, you, unless you're in the spirit, you can never know them. And many of them are fallen us. They came and they were on a demonic assignment. They came and covered up in the church. And because, you know, they got connected to some fathers, nobody can know them. And they have been destroying fatherhood and rising as the fathers are going down. You know, they rise as the fathers are going down. They come and fly on the wings of the fathers in the nation they, and they are fallen as they, they shoot and they are up there. But the fathers who, who you know, gave them access to the nation, you know, they, they, they are just going down. Their lives are not doing very well. Now, listen to these fathers. We must be very, very alert. Don't, and even the upcoming fathers, you know, you must test every spirit, not everybody, you know, coming to you for anything is, is worth to be to be in your cabinet it's very good because some of these people um they have they have been able to you know they have been sent from the kingdom of darkness and have been able to kill generals there are some intercessors prematurely died you know you know some intercessors some 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 people prematurely died uh, because they were they were being cleared from the way some fathers who are doing some great things for god you know they are they are they are curtailed they are they are, they are stopped you know they, they can never move anymore because why uh, because you know the, the fatherhood is distorted or destroyed because that's the assignment so uh we, we must be on very very high alert even about the fallenness but the lord is saying that time is over that time is over that time is over and i also want to warn our women in the nation of kenya though that some of you who are sleeping around with these foreigners and having children with them because some of these people say you for the nation to accept you you must have a seat there let me tell you women kaidre this nonsense has to stop this nonsense has to stop because that is defilement that is defilement. But the Lord told me that time is over. Can I tell you what the Lord has said? Time is over. Time is over. Time is over. Hallelujah. Many people and many intercessors and many people who love God, they were victims of some of these foreigners because they were not able to test them and to discern their spirits. Amen. Now, it is, it is, it, it, it is a season of the outpouring of the Spirit of God. This is what Joel will tell you. You know, upon every fresh so we cannot go back to the worship of ancestors we cannot go back to the what to, uh, to the worship of judaism and uh, the jews hallelujah some of us even using sofas and all those candles and, and uh, candlesticks and all those things i saw another one using candlesticks in a crusade and they are lighting candles now what is all that nonsense for we cannot be reversing here yeah, jesus came and finished it all hallelujah so we what what is supposed to be leading us is the spirit of god we are supposed to uh romans 8 and verse 14 and many as are led by the spirit of god these are the sons of god then we cannot reverse gear to some of these things you know a blowing of shovels and all those we don't need all those things we don't need all those things what we need now is the word of god and the holy spirit the word of god and the holy spirit hallelujah the word of god and the holy spirit you know uh, because uh, we don't need all these waters and all those things if the word of god cannot do the operation there is not any other gimmicks there is no any other human operation that is above the word of god hallelujah if the holy spirit can not do the operation even if we blow the shovels and we do all those things there's nothing we are changing the atmosphere what can change the atmosphere in our day as we worship and gather is the holy spirit <laughs> because he's the one who searches the deep things of god hallelujah Actually, jesus is saying he draws what is mine and delivers to you hallelujah so yeah that is it the connectivity we cannot go back to these things we cannot go back to some of these things we can't go back no matter who says what we cannot brush over us that we, we are not called for that now we did not see jesus say we brought that is not the foundation of the church we don't see the apostles do this we cannot do that we cannot that's not the foundation of the church we cannot we cannot, hallelujah, we cannot pray using candles. We cannot use waters, oils, and all those things, and handkerchiefs and prayer shows. We cannot use beads and all those things, hallelujah. What do we need now? Actually, the Bible says we don't know how to pray. So why, why are you being taught by people how to use their beads and prayer shows and all those things? Hallelujah. The Bible says the Spirit of God will teach us, you know, teaches us how to pray. So the connectivity that we are supposed to have is of the Spirit of God, not on things and the the the, the 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 teachings and the, the the teachings of men on how to pray. Let me tell you, even if I taught you how to pray, oh my God, Hallelujah! 
of my if you copy my method it may be too too, so I, too, too cumbersome Matthew 11 Jesus is saying take my yoke take my yoke it is easy and the commands of God are not cumbersome hallelujah so can can we stop these things and uh, you know this ideal of pointing a finger now I have always said the people who use the prayer shows and other prayer garments it is okay if God has told you to do that but don't don't copy don't copy from other people even as some garments and all those things actually is there a saying those things are just like few the those acts of righteousness are just like few the lacks. Hallelujah. Because now it's not about even the physical. It's not about all those things. Our work is a work of faith. You know, we connect to our Father by faith. You know, these are work of faith. The Bible says they just shall live by faith. It's about faith. It's about faith. Hallelujah. And then when you walk in the, in the Lord and the, when you're led by the Spirit of God, it, 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 the Spirit of God will keep on searching the heart and the mind of God and, you know, revealing it to us. And then we are able to praise God. Hallelujah. So what is happening in the Church of Kenya? There's a lot of copycats and all those things. You know, hallelujah. All those things. You know, who said God cannot hear unless we brush of us and unless we do those things? What are we breaking for? What, what Jesus broke for? I mean, broke, I mean, uh, when, <laughs> when he was giving up his breath, the curtain of the temple broke into two. So we can access. Jesus is the way. A shofar cannot be the way. A prayer show cannot be the way. A rosary cannot be the way. Mary, mother of Jesus, cannot pray for anybody. Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. John chapter 4. I mean, John, John chapter 14. Jesus is the way. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. There is no any other way so if you have we are, jesus is saying ask in my name ask my father in my name but there's no any other human operation there that can cause things happen and this there is a lot of human labor hallelujah human labor this is it, this is just like the way some of you gather and after service everybody's being anointed now if the word did not do the operation actually the, the oil that oil james is clarifying you know it's supposed to be to be that anointing is supposed to be done by the elders to the sick Hallelujah. Not everybody who wants to receive a car come for the anointing. Eh, eh, everybody. What is the oil for? What is the oil for? Hallelujah. That, that is to become a slave of men. And, and uh, it is not supposed to be like so. Hallelujah. So uh, we, we cannot go back to the worship of, of the Judaism and, and the Jews and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the Jews and, uh, you know, the, the ancestral worship. You know, you know the, the spirit of truth, you know, is, is all what we need. And uh, we cannot go back to the ancestral, or an, uh, ancestral worship going to the mountains that's why i've been asking my nation kenya you know so which god is ruling our state house god of the mount kirinyaga or mount kenya or which god now you know we need to <laughs> we need to know the god of our government you know it's it's good that they clarify to us to us which god because the Mwenenyaga is not the god of creation it's not the god of heavens it's not the father of our our, our savior jesus christ hallelujah and he's not called Mwenenyaga. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we cannot go back to the ancestral worship and the people who are going back to the traditions of our fathers. We cannot go back. We cannot go back. We even don't see, you know, uh, you know, uh, we don't see that in the Bible. We don't see that that tradition in the Bible. Actually, Paul is cautioning the, the son, you know, avoid the tradition of, 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 of your fathers. You cannot go back. Hallelujah. So let us test every spirit and uh, we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Uh, but the Bible does not tell us, you know, to uh, to, 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 to learn. Actually, there's no scripture that says that we learn about demons. There's no scripture that says we should learn about demons. You know, we don't see Jesus teaching about demons. We don't see the apostles teaching about demons. You know, I, Jesus, I mean, Paul is just clarifying. Don't be ignorant of the devices. And, and uh, you know, when you have the Spirit of God, he's able to teach us even of the devices. Because maybe where you come from is not where I come from. So the devices here could be different. But the Bible says, you know, you know, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So we know the, the, the devices that are, that are meant to kill, that are meant to steal, and that are meant to destroy. Hallelujah. So we cannot sit uh, for hours. You know, I encountered somebody in my nation who was undergoing a two years program to be taught about deliverance and, 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 and the, the operations of demons, seriously. And somebody will, will, will give you a certificate for that, seriously, for what? 
that energy and that money should be winning souls for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says, I mean, um, in Romans chapter 8 and verse 14, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. That, that's what we are supposed to be doing. Be led of the Spirit of God. When you are led by the Spirit of God, you cannot be garrible. You cannot be, you know, we, you cannot be dead ahead. You know, we cannot, we cannot be lied to, you know, by somebody with their oils and their stickers and all those things. You know, the word of God is enough remedy. The word of God is enough remedy. So we should test every spirit and we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Now, we are not servants of God. We are not called to teach people about demons. You know, there is no scripture. If you get that scripture, kindly you can correct me and send it to me. But the truth which we teach, which is Jesus, you know, actually Amos is saying, my people are destroyed. You know, my people are, the people of God, we are destroyed. We are messed up because we don't know the truth, because we lack the knowledge. Hallelujah. So there is nothing to sell in the house of God. There is nothing to buy. You know, freely we are given servants of God, freely we give. You cannot pay to, uh, an, an appointment fee to see a man or a woman of God. It's not biblical, amen. That does not mean that you don't honor us. I've always told you that. But then you have nothing to pay for. You have nothing to pay for. The woman, the shunama, I mean, the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of garment. Jesus never asked for anything. You remember that Arabasta oil, you know, that woman who broke it, the Mary, you know, and Judas is complaining about the poor and everything. Jesus is saying that you will always have the poor, but this one has had revelation about my death. Now, listen to this church. You have, we have nothing to sell. We have nothing to buy. We have nothing to sell to you. You cannot buy anything. We, there is nothing that will preserve you that will sell to you. The only preservation that is there in your work of faith is the word of God. Hallelujah. David is saying, is the lamb into my feet and the light into my path. Amen. That's all what you need. That's all what you need. There's nothing else to buy and there's nothing else to carry with your heart bag. Carry your Bible. Carry the word. You know, hallelujah. I love what, what Jeremiah is saying. Now, in our days, the word of God will be written in our heart. The law of God will be written in our heart. Hallelujah. So, the word of God is enough dosage. The word of God is enough dosage for our walk of faith. The word of God is enough dosage. Hallelujah for our walk of faith. No, you don't need the candles. You don't need uh, the titles, uh, you know, so that you can uh, have the presence of God. You know, uh, you know some doctrines of demons and uh, some ordinations and commissioning, uh, so that you can be given an elevation by men. Now those things you don't need all those things, you know, and uh, some beads, some rosary, some prayer garments, and uh, all those things. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying all those is idolatry. That is idolatry. We don't need all those things. What we need is Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And because of that, I wanted to pass that message that in the nation of Kenya and the church is in a season of purging. You have not seen exposures yet. You're going to see. You have not seen casualties. You're going to see. And God is in the process of clearing the mess in the church of Kenya because of the end time purposes he has with the nation and for the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Allow me to read for you so many scriptures. So many scriptures to give a backup to that word. So many scriptures. So this is what the Lord told me uh, about the nation of Kenya and the church. Isaiah chapter 62. This is the word he gave you. Uh, he gave me just verse 1. Isaiah 62. So for the remnants of God's people, uh, uh, the Bible says, For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as lamp that burns. Hallelujah. For our sake, for the sake of the remnants of God's people in the nation of Kenya, and for the sake of the end time agenda and assignment that God has for the nation of Kenya, heaven cannot be settled until the church of Kenya is sorted out and reinstated to her position in the nation. In, I mean, in the nation by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So God is at work. That's the word God gave me. God is at work. Hallelujah. God is at work in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, and uh, the other promise that the Lord has for us is uh, in the book of Jeremiah. You can read uh, Jeremiah chapter 39. Uh, you can read from verse 11 because of my time. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 39. I will just read verse 17. Um, the Bible says, and the Bible says from verse 16, this is Jeremiah. The Bible says, go and speak to uh, Obed-Mereki 
the Ethiopian saying, now this is the word for the remnants of God's people. That says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Now, I'm a, a, this is the God we are dealing with. That is the God of all creation in our, in our national anthem. So the Bible, but the Bible says, that says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Behold, I will bring my words upon this city for a diversity, uh, for a diversity and not for good. And they shall be performed in that day before you. Are you seeing this? Hallelujah. Now, there is a performance that is already taking place. Hallelujah. But listen, verse 17 is now for the remnant of God's people. But I will deliver you in that day, says the Lord, the, the Lord and you shall not be given into the heart of, of the men of whom you are afraid. Are you listening, remnants of God's people? So there is safety. There is a praise of rescue for the remnants of God's people. For I will surely deliver you and you shall not fall by the sword, but your life shall be a price to you. Are you hearing the remnants of God's people? because you have put your trust in me says the lord hallelujah so as the contrary is happening to the wicked in zion god is delivering the remnants of his people in the nation and our lives will be a prize hallelujah a reward because we have put our trust in the lord so i want to encourage you as the spirit of god is speaking to me where i'm seated is that our labor in the lord has not been in vain you may not be driving a car like them you may not be living in a posh houses like them. You may not be, you know, you, you may not have a, a title or anything like them. But let me tell you that through whatever anybody covering up in the church has acquired through other powers, let me tell you that Jairus God has now come to turn around the tables and to clean up the mess that has been done in his house or connected to his kingdom in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The end time move of God will not just come. There has to be a clean up and it is going to be a massive clean up in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm going to read uh, uh, I'm going to read uh, is uh, Hosea chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4. Yes, Hosea chapter 4 and I'm going to read so many verses of that. Let me read for you the word of God. It's good that we read the word of God. Amen. Now listen to the, hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the, for the Lord brings a charge against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land by swearing and lying, killing and stealing. Are you seeing this? I, I know the, the Bible says, by swearing and lying, killing and stealing, and committing adultery, they break all restraint. They, they break all restraint with bloodshed upon bloodshed. We are witnesses of that. Now listen to this. Therefore, the Lord will mourn, and everyone who dwells uh, who dwells there will will waste away with the uh, with the beasts of the field. Now the people who are covering up there, you know, where there is lying, there is a, there, there is a, there, there is a, there is a, there, mm, 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 where there is lying and there is swearing, there is killing and stealing and committing adultery, they'll waste away with the beast of the field and the birds of the air, even the fish of the sea will be taken away. The Bible says, verse 4, now let no man contend or rebuke another. Are you seeing this? Because why? Because of the mess, liars and all those things. But for, for, for your people are like those who contend with the priest. Therefore, you shall stumble in the day. The prophets also shall stumble with you in the night, and I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected the knowledge, I, I also will reject you from being priest for me. Are you seeing this? So it's not about the members, whatever we call members. It is also touching the priesthood. Why? Because we have lying there and the swearing there and totally there, even in the priesthood set up. Now listen to this. Because you have forgotten the law of, the, of your God, I also will forget your children. Now I'm feeling mercy for the generation of our children. Verse 7, the Bible says, The more they increase, the more they sin against me. I will change their glory into shame. Are you seeing this? Hallelujah. That is now what you are about to see. There are people who had some kind of glory in the church of the nation of Kenya that is about to be turned into shame. This has nothing to do with the, the, the heart of the government. This is a divine operation. Hallelujah. Oh my God. They ate up the sin of my people. Listen to this. They ate up the sin of my people. They set their heart on their, uh, on their iniquity. 
and it shall be like people like priests. So I will punish them for their ways and reward them for their deeds. Are you seeing this? Nobody is rewarding any other. It is the operation of God. I told you divine operation. Uh, for they shall eat but not have enough. They shall commit harotry but not increase because they have ceased obeying the Lord. Are you seeing this? Disobedience is too much. You know, uh, let, let me just read the word because of time. Harotry, uh, wine and new wine enslave the heart. My people ask counsel from their wooden idols. And um, and are you seeing this? These are people of God who are seeking counsel from uh, from wooden idols. And their, uh, and their staff, you know, informs them. Uh, for the spirit of harotry has caused them to stray. And they have prayed the harot against their God. Are you seeing this? So they offer sacrifices on the mountaintops. Are you seeing this? They offer sacrifices on the mountaintops. Hallelujah. Now, and they burn incense on the hills. This is what we are seeing. People are going to slaughter goats and sheep at night and some, on, on some mountains, you know, to appease some ancestors. ancestors. They, they, they are priests. They have big positions and, uh, in, in some places of worship. Are you seeing this? Uh, they offer sacrifices on mountaintops and burn incense on the hills. And the ox... Pora and and uh, terabits because they sh uh, they uh, because their shape is good therefore your daughters commit adultery and your brides commit adultery i will not punish your daughters when they commit adultery nor your brides when they commit adultery for the men themselves go apart with harot and offer sacrifices with a ritual harot are you seeing this you know, people who are sleeping with ritual harrods. Hallelujah. Therefore, people who do not understand will be will be will be trapped. Now, the people who have not understood that these people are not in God anymore, these people are using other powers, you know, the Bible says the, the people with no understanding will be trapped. And we have so many people in the church of Kenya who are trapped by people who are not in God and they are ministering to you and they are not born again anymore. They are not in God anymore. They are using some other powers. Now, listen, those, uh, though, uh, uh, though you Israel pray the herald, let not Judah of it. Do not come up to Gilgal, nor go up to Beth, uh, to Beth Aven, uh, nor swear on all the saying as the Lord lives. For Israel is stubborn like a stubborn calf. Now the Lord will let them um, foliage like a ram in open, uh, in open country. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Are you seeing this? Hallelujah. They drink uh, they drink in rebellion and we have so many drunkards, servants of God with the very big titles, drunkards. That the Bible says, uh, they, they drink, uh, they, they drink is rebellion. They commit haltare continually. Halulas, uh, uh, clearly love dishonor. The we, um, the weed has lapped uh, her up in its wings and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. Hallelujah. Now, the shame that is coming to the church that is covered up in quotes, you know, in the kingdom of God is because of their sacrifices, human sacrifices, any kind of a sacrifice that was offered to appease some other gods than the God of Israel. You now, the, the Bible is saying they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. Now, this is purely the operation of Jehovah God. Hallelujah. I told you I'll give you a backup of the word of God. Hallelujah. So the Bible says in Hosea chapter 10, Hosea chapter 10, let me read for you the Hosea. I'm looking for the scriptures, Hosea chapter 10 and verse 12. The Bible says, So you are self-righteousness, uh, leap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness on you. Now, this is a personal call. Despite what is happening, remnants of God's people and people who are wrapped up in, in some and trapped up because uh, they, 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 they connected their lives to people who are not living right with God. Kaidi the Bible says, so, so for yourself righteousness, leap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains 
his righteousness on you. This is a personal sacrifice, a personal call in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go on. I said I have so many scriptures in the name of Jesus. So this is where we are. Amos chapter 9 and verse 11. Generally, the church of Jesus Christ, this is where we are on that day. So we are saying now, I know the Bible says, I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down and repair its damages. So it is God who is doing that. I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as it was in the days of old. Hallelujah. The, 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 that they may possess the remnants of Edom and all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord, who does this thing? So I'm, I'm saying what is happening now is purely the operation of God as this other kingdom that has been covering up as a counterfeit in the name of the Lord is going down as they are going to receive you know, a reward of the punishment and exposure from, from the hands of the Lord. On the other hand, there is a restoration that God is doing to the remnants of his people. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the proud, the proud man shall overtake the leaper and the treader of grapes him who sows seeds. The mountains shall uh, drip with wheat um, with, with, the, with the sweet wine and all the hills uh, shall flow with it. I will bring back the captives of my people Israel. That is what the Lord is doing. They shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink wine from them. I don't have time to explain that uh, those scriptures but let me just read them through. They shall also make gardens and eat fruit from them. I will plant them in their land and no longer uh, shall they be pulled up from the land and I have given them, says the Lord your God. Now, listen to this. Now, what is happening is, you know, the right positioning of the right priesthood in our in our now. Hallelujah. So, as the Lord is clearing the mess, you know, uh, because of where the Lord is taking the nation of Kenya, we are going to see the positioning of the right priesthood in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, I'm um, reading for us the scriptures. I'm reading for us the scriptures. You remember what the Bible says in Amos chapter 3 and verse 3, two cannot go together unless they agree. So the Lord is saying, we must agree with him. We must agree with God now as a nation and as a people in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the Bible says in Obadiah 15, Obadiah 15, up to verse 18, the Bible says, in that day, so we are saying now, <coughs> Uh, or, uh, no, in that, uh, okay. For the day of the Lord upon all the nations is near. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Are you seeing this? As, as you have done, it shall be done to you. So that is it. It is a reward of God and the harvest. And remember when we were crossing over from 2019 to 2020, uh, to 2020, the decade 2020 and beyond, the Lord said we have entered into a decade of great harvest and reward. And it is either going to favor you or disfavor you, depending on, uh, on your action. So the Bible says, as you have done, it shall be done to you. Your repressor shall return upon your own head. For as you drank on my holy mountain, uh, so shall all the nations drink continually. Yes, they shall drink and swallow, and they shall be um, as, as though they had never been. The Bible says, but on Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. The house of Jacob shall possess their possession. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. But the house of Esau shall stumble. They shall kill them and devour them, and no survivor shall Shall remain of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. Now, I don't have much time to elaborate on the house of Esau and the house of Abraham. I don't. Just allow me to read those scriptures. May the Spirit of God reveal to you what the Lord is saying. But you can see the division. You can see the division. In a, you know, uh, you can see the division. John chapter 14 and verse 6, you know, the Bible says Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So we don't have any other shortcut. Can I read for you some scriptures in the book of, jo I, I mean, the book of Jeremiah? In the book of Jeremiah, let me read for you the word of God in the book of Jeremiah chapter 6. Jeremiah, let me go there. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. So this is where we are. That says the Lord, start in the way and see and ask for the old path where the good way is. Hallelujah. So this John chapter 14, this good way, this way is Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, that says the Lord, start in the ways and see and ask for the old path, uh, old paths where the good way is and walk in it. My brethren, we must walk in that old way. We must go to the old paths where the good way is. We cannot, we cannot counter change 
you know, the ways of our God by the traditions of our ancestors and all those things. We cannot go that direction. Hatred and, uh, you know, uh, you know, drunkenness and all those things. We cannot go that direction. Hallelujah. We are not of those who shrink back. So we are not shrinking back to the traditions of things that are not. So we must get hold of those old parts because that is where the good way is and we must walk in it. Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16 just ahead there. So this is the grace that is already in operation. Behold, I will set for many fishermen because many people are already trapped. So the grace that, that is in operation right now. Behold, I will set many, uh, for many fishermen, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. And afterward, I will set for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and every hill and out of the holes of the locks hallelujah so many people of, of i mean so many of god's people are in so i mean are in so many deep holes in in some locks and some of them are are, are, are you know are on some 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 mountains hallelujah so the grace that god has released right now is a fisherman you know that grace you know to be able to deliver to fish people out and the the, the, the hunter's grace you know that that will be able to hunt to hunt the i mean the people of god from from every mountain and every hill hallelujah so god is already doing an operation he has released the fisherman grace and the hunter's grace in our now hallelujah so anybody destined to heaven jesus is saying father the people you have given unto me none of them you know i i lost none or none of them will get lost no, none of them will perish or none of them perish depending on the version of your Bible. Hallelujah. Unless the son of perdition. So none of us, even if you have drunk 10 bottles of oil, even if you have done whatever you have done, now listen to this. God has released the grace, the fisherman grace and the hunter's grace. So we shall be fished out. If we shall be hunted out from the hills and the, from the mountains and the, from holes of some locks. So none of us will perish. If your destiny is heaven, none of us will perish. And the grace of God is going to reach us out by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So this is what the Lord is doing. Can I get for you the last few scriptures in the book of Hosea? We do the last scriptures in the book of Hosea chapter uh Amos chapter 3 Amos chapter 3 and verse 12 the Bible says that says the Lord as a shepherd takes from the mouth of a lion two legs or a piece of an ear so shall the children of Israel be taken out who dwell in Samaria in the corner of a bed on the edge of a coach hallelujah so the people who are so misplaced in very dangerous places my God, God is, I mean, God is delivering them out. He is a good shepherd, uh, Psalm chapter 23. So he's getting out, he's reaching out by his own masses. Hallelujah. You know, delivering his own people where they have been trapped. My God, I, I fear this. Who dwell in Samaria in the corner? People who have been dwelling in the places of oils, stickers, uh, the, those, uh, the threads you have been eating of a prayer towel and all those things. You know, you don't need all those nonsense. You don't need all those things. What you need is to encounter your father. Hallelujah. So all the prodigal sons are going back home because they belong home and the father is waiting in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So uh, I've read for you the scriptures that the Lord gave, uh, gave me and uh, it is God who is doing the operation. Again, I want to say it is God who is doing the operation. This is the operation of God himself. In conclusion, Malachi chapter 3, Malachi chapter 3, and you can go on and read for yourself Malachi chapter 4. Let me read for you Malachi chapter 3. Behold, I will send my messenger and he will prepare the way before me and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. I, I want you to listen to this. Even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, behold, he is coming, says the Lord. I says the Lord of hosts, but who can endure the day of his coming and who can start when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire. Hallelujah. He's like a refiner's fire and like, uh, like Raudra's soap. You know, he will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. Hallelujah. Church in Kenya, 
This is it. Hallelujah. He will see it as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Revi, and Robozia. Hallelujah. And purge them as gold and silver that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. Rikai and Robozia. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us were contaminated because even of the coverings that we got for ourselves, we were contaminated by so many things. The conferences we attended, the followings we did. Hallelujah. The purifier is here. And the, purge, the, the God who purifies, the God who purges. Hallelujah. That we may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. Hallelujah. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be present to the Lord. And in the day Day of us as in the days of old and in the former years and I will come near to you for judgment I will be a, a swift witness against sorcerers are you hearing this sorcerers in the church in Kenya hallelujah the Bible says I will be a swift witness so whether you have hidden you have sacrificed your keyboards and the wives your children or all those is Jehovah God is going to be a, 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 a swift witness against sorcerers against adulterers against uh, prejurers now listen men who are married but you have concubines the present worship leaders you know you are sleeping with your daughters some women are already now the lesbian is in the church in kenya already now that it has been around now you know it was there in secret we we cancelled with some people you know whose their mothers were, were attaching them and uh, you know trying to maneuver their way in, in some things you know, it was so scary when we had these things before, you know. But listen to this, my brethren. You know, God is cleaning up. God is purifying. God is refining. God is purging. The sorcerers in the houses of God, the adulterers, the perjurers, against those who exploit wage earners and widows and orphans. The Kayandolobozia. Hallelujah. Have you heard of people who are selling their things and giving their Isaac and all those things? Somebody is left without a house, without a car, nothing. Because somebody told you on the altar that the Lord has said you 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 saw your eyes that you give you everything then you are left without nothing people have been left poor you know because that is not the way god works that's not the, the operation of god that is not the operation of our father you know that's not the operation of our father you know and uh, you know uh, one day i'm going to teach about giving Freedom you have been given and freedom you give. Actually, you know, the cheerful, in, in, in the New Testament, the Bible is talking about, about, you know, cheerful giver. You should cheerfully give, you know, according to, to, to the measure that the Lord has enabled you or given to you. He gives the seed to the sower. So nobody should force you, you know, uh, using the name of the Lord. You know, nobody. And that does not mean church because everybody has errored, we stop giving. But it's for your good. Giving is for your good. Can I say this? Paying your tithe is for your good. Giving whatever, you know, the, 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 the word of God has, has is prescribed. And let me tell you, we don't even struggle. We don't even struggle. We don't struggle about giving. Why? Because why? The Spirit of God is teaching us all things. How to give, what to give, and where to give how to give, where to give, and who to give, and what to give. Hallelujah. You know, we, we, we withholding nothing. <laughs> we are withholding nothing. If God tells you, create your drop, you just create it. Create your house, you just create it. Because why give you, can you just give it? Because why? Because there's no, we are withholding nothing. We, 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 we cannot measure the love of God with the things that he has given unto us. So the Bible says, and against those who turn away in Arian, at, turn away an Arian, because they do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed, sons of Jacob. Yet from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances. That's why Ecclesiastes will tell you, there's nothing new under the sun. So there are people who consulted sorcerers even those days. There are people who committed adultery even those days. So there's nothing new. Amen. So the Bible says, and uh, you know, you have you have uh, not kept you you have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you. 
Hallelujah. So even the foreign priesthood, you'd rather lose everything but not lose your soul. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and you lose your soul? You're driving big cars and a fleet of them and a convoy and all that. You know, yet you know, even the oils you are sending to the children of God and giving them and all those things you are doing, you have some empowerment attached to the kingdom of darkness. Now, what shall it profit you? Because now at the end of the day, I've always said, instead of serving two masters, go to one. Because at the end of the day now, if Jesus came today, heaven will not go there. So let us stop covering up. But even if you continue covering up, if you don't repent, the Bible says, return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? Hallelujah. So I want to leave that word there. I want to leave that word there. And I want the church to know in Kenya that we are in a season of purging. God is clearing. God is cleaning up. God is purging. God is refining. Hallelujah. The refiner is here. The purge is here. Hallelujah. And it is his own operation and no stone will be left unturned in the nation of Kenya. Why? Because of the prophetic time assignment that God has entrusted the nation of Kenya with. Hallelujah. Can I read for you this Proverbs chapter 25? The Spirit of God is reminding me that. Allow me to read for you this Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs chapter 25. Oh, hallelujah. Allow me to read for you this uh, Proverbs chapter 25. The Spirit of God is reminding me this because of our state house. Because now when God is talking about uh, evil midwives, they are all over. Even touching even our state house, they are all over. Uh, where God has said, uh, for, you know, the, the nation of Kenya has been in the hands of evil midwives. Now listen to this. People who just think about their stomachs, their berries. They don't even think about the destiny of the nation and their tomorrow, the tomorrow of their children. Now listen to this. Take away the wicked from before the king and his throne will be established in righteousness. Hallelujah. So we are praying even for the government, the president and the entire government that God may take away. In this operation, I know about the people who are going to be touched in Kenya, uh, in the church of the nation of Kenya. Now, now the wicked must be taken away from before the king so that the king, so that the throne may be established in righteousness. As long as we have evil midwives and as long as we have, you know, people who do not fear God. Yeah, as long as we have people who have covenant to other altars. You know, and then they are covering up in the name of the Lord. Then the throne cannot be established in righteousness. But because God has loved Kenya and God calls Kenya my beloved, my God, he's clearing all that mess for his own glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let us allow this. There, there is no government. There is no judge. There is no magistrate who can handle these. They can be bribed. They can rule these things and like that. But let me tell you. What the process God has begun in Kenya, it's a massive operation that will cause a lot of casualties and clear up, you know, every kind of a mess covered up in the name of the Lord and in the church of Jesus Christ for the sake of the end time assignment that God has called Kenya for in the name of Jesus. I leave that word there. Uh, as the Lord is dealing with the wicked in Zion and all that, he is also delivering his own people who are captives in some of these holes, uh, you know, locks, you know, it's a locks, I mean holes in some locks, some hills and some mountains. And God is also positioning the right priesthood in the nation of Kenya because of the end times moves of God. I mean, the end time move of God in the nation of Kenya in Jesus' name. And I hear the Spirit of God say, this one will not be stopped by anybody. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus.